All right, Shalom. Uh, praise, the glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Double honor to the apostles of the Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, welcome to another edition of our Dear Christians. And uh, I have another, I have, I have this article here from uh, RT.com. Um, basically just going into, uh, basically just showing that the Christian church, its religion, uh, it's tenets, the, the, you know, the whole position that it stands for in the world is totally against the Bible. Okay. Um, totally against the scriptures. It's, it's totally against the true spirit of the Most High and His Son. And um, it's just, you have total abomination going on in the Christian church. And nobody speaks about it like nobody goes on and, and 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 actually stands up and stands out against what the christian church does i mean here in america you don't have a whole bunch of so-called blacks and natives and hispanics speaking out against what the christian church is doing whether it's the roman catholic church or whether it's these different uh protestant denominations okay nobody speaks out against these things although they know it's true and, and 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 that you got wickedness going on, okay. Um, so the headline of this article is "Let Your Son Wear a Skirt," says the church, okay. And you can see in the image here, you have a little white boy, so-called white boy, a little Edomite boy, right? And uh, basically, what the 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 image that they're trying to put here and paint here is that these little young, little three, four, five-year-old boys should be able to do and wear whatever they want to, all right, even amongst so-called devout Christians, okay, because that's totally against the scriptures, all right, and I'm going to get into it, but I'm going to read this article and just uh, go into what they have to say. It says, children should be able to cross dress and try out different clothes from capes to crowns, no matter their sex, the Church of England has said, right? It says, uh, anti-bullying advice provided by the church says children must be able to be who they might be. All right. Um, already here, man, you can already see the, the, the madness and the bullshit that, that is going on here, man. All right, and I'm just calling it straight. All right, now, <clears throat> if this was back in uh, the uh, time of uh, uh, King James the first, the King of England, this wouldn't be going on. Okay. All right. When when the Holy Scriptures was, was translated, all right, and you got the King James version of the Bible. Under the authority and orders of uh, uh, King James I, who was a so-called black man, okay, at the time an Israelite, all right, he was heavily involved with the church, with the uh, uh, the administration of, of the scriptures and how things were put together. He compiled the scriptures, and that's how we got the 1611 today through his authorization, okay, and he he's put out. If you do your history and research, he's, he, he, he was staunchly against homosexuality. But fast forward today to 2017 with this uh, 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 imposter of the so-called black nobility, okay, this Edomite, this devil, Queen Elizabeth, okay, all right, the second, I believe, she, this so-called queen and, 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 the parliament and everybody over there and the government, all right, in the UK are not speaking out. And I, I say England, not the UK, but England. They're not speaking out against what the church is saying, okay? Here is the Church of England is saying that children should be able to wear and do whatever they want to do because it's, it's, it's supposed to be some kind of anti-bullying campaign. Okay, and that's just making and, and and this whole anti-bullying thing. I'll say something on that. That's 
that's that's a whole movement about making the men of the world, especially so called black men, effeminate, soft and weak. Okay? And he and here you have the Church of England pushing that 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 sentiment upon the parents and then they push that upon the children. Okay? Now in no way is this scriptural, okay? That the clergymen and that the leaders of the church should be pushing for uh, 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 children to do abominable things, man. Okay? It says, Archbishop of, of uh, Canterbury, Justin Welby, said the message, which was disseminated to schools, should reach every child. He wants schools to spread the Christian message without exception or exclusion. Okay? Now, the Bible says that in no way should a man put on a woman's garment or dress, and neither should a woman put on a man's garment or pants or dress or whatever. That's why the whole, the whole, this whole same-sex marriage thing, that's why the Most High is going to destroy America, okay? You just had two, trans, two, two transgenders over here in America, uh, um, I believe it's in Virginia, okay? Um, being uh, elected to office, a so-called black and a so-called uh, uh, white man, okay, which changed to women, being elected into a um, government position, an office, which is against the Bible, okay? Now it's, now, it's talking about these different schools here in the article. Growing up, I went to different Christian schools, okay? All right? I went to different Christian schools growing up through my first early years in school, and this never came out, man. Okay? They would have certain services, and you have to sing the songs, and they'll go over, you know, certain hymnals, and, you know, they have guest speakers at the school and whatnot. But never did they speak about uh, 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 accepting wearing dresses or Girls being like little boys or boys being like little girls. That was never taught. And that was in the 90s. But fast forward 20 years later in the 2000s. And this is what you have from the church. Okay. And they're supposed to stand firmly and strongly on the scriptures. Okay. I'm going to keep going. All right. It says. It says we must avoid at all costs. Diminishing the dignity of any individual to a stereotype. Or a problem, said Welby. He also called for tolerance and respect for one another, saying a person's sexual orientation should never be grounds for bullying. Now, let me say this, man. Little boys and girls, man, okay? Number one, according to biology, they are what the Most High made them. I'm going to say that. And number two, they're not thinking about sex at that age, man. I mean, you, you eat them out, you devils, you pump all kinds of poisons and hormones into the foods. So you got different chemical imbalances in the children as they grow up. But at the end of the day, that's not what they're thinking about, man. They're to be led and guided according to the, the, um, the uh, proper doctrine that, script, that, that, that the Bible has set forth. They're not thinking about no sexual orientations, man. And this just makes me sick, man. This pisses me off, man. Okay? Because here it is, you have so-called adults of authority in a in a position that, to know right from wrong, and they use the the like like scripture says in Psalms fifty, they put instruction behind them, man. Okay, you devils have no business being in rulership, being in leadership, man. Okay, all right. And uh, before I go forward, let me get that scripture. Okay, let me get that scripture. All right, let's go to Psalms chapter 50. All right. And I'm going to say this, you know, to you Christians out here, man. <clears throat> why are you not speaking out against this? Dear Christians, why are you not speaking against the Church of England and their abominations, man? Okay. So this is Psalms 50 and 16. It says, but unto the wicked, which are the Edomites, okay, 
The whole race of these so-called white people, the most high speaking against them, starting with their elite ruling class families, the so-called bankers, okay? Central bankers, it says, but unto the wicked, the most high saith, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? We're just talking about his scriptures, the Bible. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. And this is what they're doing. Okay? This is what they're doing. Alright? I'm going to read this again. This is a heart, uh, uh, Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, said the message which was disseminated to schools should reach every child. He wants schools to spread the Christian message without exception or exclusion. Okay? Now, the Christians are supposed to be followers of the Messiah. Nowhere in, 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 in the Old or New Testament, all right, nowhere in the New Testament did the Messiah say there should be no exclusion, okay? Or there should be no, uh, 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 or there should be a without exception or exclusion, and that you shouldn't stereotype, and that you can wear whatever you want to wear, no matter your gender. That's not in the scriptures, man. Okay, it says we must avoid at all costs diminishing the dignity of any individual to a stereotype or a problem, said Welby. Well, the Most High is the one that made stereotypes. He's the one that set the grounds and the boundaries for men and women, their dress code and, and, and you know, their morals and how they should act towards one another. But you disregard that. Okay, these Christian leaders, man. They disregard everything that the Bible says and they put upon their own feelings and their, they add to the word. Okay? It says the church leader said significant progress has been made since 2014 when advice was issued on homophobic bullying. Well, let me say this, man. You know, being homophobic is, is number one, an a, 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 a Edomite term, a devilish term. Which homos mean means uh, the same, and phobic goes back to uh, uh, phobia in the Greek, which means uh, fear. Nobody has the fear of the same sex, okay? If I see another man, I'm not afraid of another man, okay? But I will say this, all right? No man should be sleeping with another man, and that's in the scriptures as well. Same thing with women with women. You shouldn't dress like that, okay? You shouldn't dress like the opposite sex neither, man. And you shouldn't be pushing that upon upon uh, 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 boys and girls, man. That messes with the psyche of the, of the child. But this is what they're teaching in the Christian church. So once again, I say, dear Christians, why are you not speaking against the Church of England? Okay? All right? It says, valuing all God's children, encourage parents to let their little ones play with the many cloaks of identity and sometimes quite literally with the dressing up box. Where is that in the scriptures? Where is that in the scriptures that, that, that the Most High said all his children should have a dress up box and the little boys and girls should put on whatever they want to put on? That's why we are no, that, that's why we know that we're at the end, man. This society is getting ready to crumble. Okay? Uh, I'm going to get another scripture. Okay. Let's go to the New Testament. Uh, Romans, the first chapter. This is Romans chapter 1. And, uh, and 24. It says, Well, for the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. And this is what the Most High is doing, okay, to the minds of, 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 of the people. Through Esau, through the wicked. Because the wicked ha has uncleanness and unclean lust in their minds. These so-called white people. So because they're in authority, they can push this, whether it's through religion, they can push their homosexual agenda. Whether it's through politics, they can push the homosexual agenda. Okay, and in the school system, they can push the homosexual agenda. Okay, and this that that, that spirit seeps upon the Israelites, man, the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. It seeps down into their minds and gets their spirit all messed up, right? 
It says, Wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie, which is you white people, okay? The leaders of the Christian church at this day. It says, And worship and serve the creature. Okay, it's all about anti-bullying. It's all about teaching the children that they can, can uh, 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 be accepted. It's how they want to be. Let them have a dress-up box. You worshiping the creature, like it says, more than the creator, who is blessed forever to what? You know? And this is why the Most High is going to destroy them, man. Okay? Verse 32 says, Uh... It says, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Okay? Right, now, uh, uh, the translator notes for uh, have, right, where it says uh, that, that they have pleasure in them that do them, it means consent with. So even, you know, so that whole spirit of, you know, where you know where gays are cool, just as long as they don't bother, you know, talk to me, try to talk to me, or they don't bother me. They having that whole spirit, which these niggas have today, and you Christian people have today. Okay, the Most High is gonna bring judgment upon you too, cause you consent to it, you tolerate it. Okay, you tolerate this spirit, man, that abominable spirit. All right. Um. I'm, I'm going to go back to the article and keep reading, right? It says, the church leader said significant progress had been made since 2014 when advice was issued on homophobic bullying. Valuing all God's children encouraged parents to let their little ones play with the many clothes of identity and sometimes quite literally with the dressing up box. All right? It says, LGBT charity Stonewall said the guidance would help. The report did note the wide spectrum of opinion over same-sex relationships and trans communities within Christianity. This is, the, you know, the question to you Christians, man. Why are you not speaking out against these abominations, man? Okay? Going on in your religion. Okay? All right? The Bible is totally against uh, uh, um, dressing up as the opposite sex, man. Drag queening, okay, or ch trans transgendering. It's against that, okay. It says the it says. Uh, however, the church called for an end to bullying on the basis of being different, uh, right? So that's not according to the true doctrine. It's not about being different. It's about doing what the scripture says, man. I'm gonna get this scripture too, um, which I had it. This is uh. I believe it's uh, Proverbs, the fourth chapter. Uh, let's see. Right, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 2. It says, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, we're speaking about the children as it says. Uh, Proverbs 4, 1. Hear ye children the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Okay. Let's see if I can get that another scripture here. All right. So let's let's go to First Timothy four and six. It says, "If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Yahweh Shai, nourished up in the words of faith, okay, and of good doctrine." Where unto that has attained. And that starts with keeping the laws. Okay. So I went from the Old and the New Testament. Speaking about what is good doctrine. And that's following the words of uh, the Messiah. Yahweh Shai. Hamashayat. Okay. Which he taught about keeping the law. Okay. Yo man. What are you Christians going to do man. Okay. You're totally full of abominations in these churches, man. And that's because the Most High, Yahweh, is not dealing with them. Okay? Neither is Yahweh Shai. Neither is 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 uh, 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 the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, who you even call Christ. He's not dealing with the Christian churches. Okay? 
This is back in the article. It says, almost two-thirds of children have witnessed people being bullied for being different, according to figures from the Anti-Bullying Alliance. And that's just natural. If you see something like a, a boy acting feminine, I remember growing up in school. Mind you, this was the 90s. Okay. When I was younger, and we saw a, 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 a Jay acting effeminate, we used to tell jokes about him or, you know, get on him. Hey, it was one time, you know, yeah, <laughs> this Jake is getting into a fight, you know, fought him and his brother. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody was saying he was gay. Okay? Because according to the scripture, you're not supposed to tolerate that, man. You're not supposed to be indifferent towards or, or as long as they don't touch me, you're not supposed to have an attitude. Scripture says, put away evil out of Israel, man. And that's mostly among this, uh, 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 the so-called black community, man. Israelite community. Okay? Even from a child, we know that's wrong, man. But they want to push that spirit upon our kids. It says, the guidance is the first from the church to touch upon transphobic and biphobic bullying. All right? And this is what you Christians have to answer uh, uh, for, man. It says the report said all children should be able to dress up without expectation or comment and that schools should allow creative exploration. The church educates one million pupils in nearly 5,000 schools. Okay? And this is talking about and this church here is the Church of England. All right? And then you got this thing called valuing all God's children. All right? So to the Christian church, I say, yo, why are you not speaking out against this? Okay? All right? Why are you not speaking out against this? It's madness, man. Okay? Let's see what Yahweh Shah said or the Messiah said about um, uh, the law. Let's go to the book of Matthew. All right? Let's see what he says about, about the law. Okay. This is uh, Matthew 5 and 18. It says, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So it's about fulfilling the law. Yahweh shall fulfill his portion at that time. And then we today, we're supposed to fulfill our portion, and he's going to fulfill the rest of his portion when he returns. It's about fulfilling the scriptures. It says, wheresoever, this is the point, wheresoever, therefore, uh, so like whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. And that's talking, and this is to you Christians, man. Why are you not speaking out against these 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 churches, man? Okay? Why are you not speaking out against this abomination going on in the scriptures if you truly be, uh it's like in the churches if you fully if you truly believe in the Bible? Okay? It says, "But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven." All right? So why are you not speaking out against this this madness, man. Okay, let your son wear a, a skirt, says the church. Speaking about the Church of England. Okay, and and that's where the church started, man. Okay, I should say that's where that's where we we, we get the King the uh the uh 1611 King James version of the Bible today started with King James the first over the Church of England. Well, he was heavily involved in that process of getting the Bible uh, put together so everyone in England could read it and his kingdom. Okay. Let's go to the law since I keep mentioning it. Mentioning it. Let's go to, uh, I believe it's Leviticus. Uh, Leviticus. I haven't went to it for in a long time. Oh, I had it earlier. I'm excuse me. I'm gonna go back to Leviticus. This is Deuteronomy 22 and verse five. It says, "The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, 
Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Thy power. Yahweh Shah. It's an abomination. So this whole Church of England movement, Christian church movement, dealing with let your son wear a skirt, says the church, that's against the Bible. That's why I read in Psalms 15 16, it says, What has thou to do to declare my statutes to the wicked? Okay? Because that's who's ruling, man. Satan is in power. And he's, he, it's good to talk about even his, his ministers are changing to an angel of light, presenting themselves as if they, 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 they're, they're of the Lord. Okay? They're part of, that's that false prophet in Revelation. These different religions out here, man. Okay, you people really need to think about what's going on in these religions and these churches and repent because your about you was shot is getting ready to bring judgment upon the Christian churches, man. Okay, so for you Israelites out there, man, wake up, man. You so-called black Spanish and Native Americans understand that you are the Israelites. The Bible is your history and it gives you instruction on what to do and what not to do. Okay. All right. Um. And it, and it spoke about homosexuality. All right. Okay. All right. This is uh, Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. It says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Okay, so you're not supposed to be laying down as a man with another man. You're not supposed to be a woman and laying down with another woman. At least you're going to get that judgment upon you. All right. And, and, and the Bible is going to reiterate that. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is Leviticus 18 and 23. It says, Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith, because you got bestiality. All right? Here, 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 uh, uh, here in America, they want to legalize bestiality, and they want to legalize pedophilia. And there's all kind of pedophilia running rampant in the Christian church, man. Okay? But nobody speaks out about that. But all kinds of de de declassified files are coming out on the Roman Catholic Church with these different uh, 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 cardinals and popes sleeping with little boys and little girls, man. Judgment is coming to the Christian church. I'm telling you that right now, man. Okay? And it's not going to be beautiful. What happened in, in, uh, uh, um, in North Carolina about a year and a half ago with that guy Dylan Roof, whether it was a false flag or not, judgment. What happened down there in Texas uh, uh, about a week or two ago, whether it was a false flag or not, is judgment, man. Okay? The most High set these things up to the Spirit to let you know he's not dealing with these churches, man. You blasting the Spanish and Native Americans, you're going to find yourself fucked up if you don't get out of there, man. And I'm calling it straight. Okay? All right? It says, uh, neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there to. It is confusion. Okay. It says, defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. For in all these, the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. And the Most High is getting ready to cast out these nations, man. The kingdom that these Edomites have set up, starting with America, is getting ready to go down. America's going to be destroyed in World War III by nuclear hellfire, by nuclear, uh, 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 by nuclear holocaust, okay, by nuclear fire through these ICBM nuclear missiles, all right. So is the land of Israel going to be destroyed to get them them fake Israelites out of them fake Jews, and the Most High is going to set us back up, man, okay, His people, all right. This verse 26 says, uh, Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, and shall not commit 
any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation, nor any stranger that sojourneth among you. So none of you so-called blessed spans of Native Americans should be having this, this spirit of homosexuality and transgenderism among you. Okay? Especially in these churches, man. But like I said, the hell with the church is going to be judgment upon them because they're pagan anyway. Okay? That's why you're getting ready to celebrate Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of that. And the Most High is going to bring judgment upon that too, man. Okay? So be warned, man. All right? All right? So this was another Dead Christians. Okay? Uh, dealing with uh, 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 the abominations going on in the church. Okay? So like I said, the the question that I pose to you is, why are you not speaking out against these things? Okay, you Christians. With that, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashmi Shai, Double honor to the apostle of the great millstone that taught the truth. And peace and blessing to the elect. Shalom.